Is this nigga good? I'm waiting on y'all. No, you better say that. That's got this nigga. We just get to we just get to talking to start the shit off. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's face. You me? That man's face. Sucking me all day, bro. What you talking about? Oh shit, man! <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleep on It podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in again, man. It's always a joy to be here. It's a lot of motherfuckers in this bitch today. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we, are, but, 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 but we are joined by Two Four Eight Tune here. He's a rapper over here. You know what I'm saying? He just dropped the album. Testing one two three. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh yeah. Chilling with the gang, gang. It's quick to take it, man. Thing. Cool <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, we are here, man. Go ahead. Who, who, who you brought with you today? Talking, talking to Mike. This my homeboy Pee Wee ninety six. Fellow Yak guys. Fellow Yak guys, what's that? What's that? Y'all label? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm from Pontiac or something? Respect. Well, initially my family is from Pontiac, but I grew up in Auburn Hills and I moved to. Uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> Man, it, you 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 making hey, I ain't gonna lie, you know, you my dog. You making me proud, you know what I'm saying? It felt like shit, we just met. I don't need you know, about what, four months ago. You know what yeah, I'm saying, so man. You that album, dude. You talk about your album. How how was it? How did it feel? How did it feel dropping your debut album? So it was basically like it, it felt right almost like mm. even even though i was like almost dwelling on holding on to the a, a lot of that music for like more than maybe two years yeah you know what i'm saying Damn. like that after the project oh like i was sitting on that for like a while because i that's crazy I that you're saying that because like no because like because you was just showing me some shit in the car and it's like man like i can peep the difference you feel me? When I was listening to what you just showed me, right. compared to your album. So, like, your album was named Black Aladdin. Like, can you go into that? What made you want to call it Black Aladdin? What, like, you. That was my question. <laughs> 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 so, initially, there was a song that I uh, that I recorded with, with my homeboy, Lamar. Shout out, Mark. Um, it was called Racks Out. But we uh, we could never get the track stems to... Uh, to to the other uh, other beat, cause mm. I was trying to re-record it, or tweak tweak a little bit or something with my uh with my verse before we dropped it. But I could never um we could never end up getting it to clear. Talk to the mic, talk to the mic a little bit. We we can never end up getting it to clear. Mm. So like, I I just ended up re-recording it on my own, and there was a bar. <laughs> I was like, young black Aladdin, young nigga living lavish, spend some shit what I'm having, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like That shit just stuck. That shit just, just stuck. Just stuck. Tough. Black Aladdin, no, I fuck That's with the cover. Tough. Yeah. I do have oh go ahead. I thought you was about to say something. I was. I, I was I was gonna say the the aesthetic of the project that I wanted to give off was like I know, I know. Yeah, if y'all listen to Kendrick Lamar, then mm-hmm. yeah. the, 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 the voice memos that he'll put into, like maybe if not the beginning of the song, then it'll be the end. Like, so I, I feel what you're saying because you did give me kind of like a good kid, man, city vibe with the you know uh, what I'm or with the butterfly, yeah. or e- even salons do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like, it's like almost every other song you you had like some audio, mm-hmm. just like some dialogue, you talking. And it was dope, too. It was, like, encouraging words and shit like that, like, talking about... It was, like, you were taught, like, manifesting, like, you know, I believe in myself, like, 110%, like, how you believe in God and everything, and, like, you breathe air, but you don't have to have faith that the air is there. You just have faith in yourself that that you don't make it. That's the boy Dallas. Mosh pit. (laughs) That's that, that, nah, bro. That's that shit, though. I mean, it feel like nowadays, you know, I'm starting to hear more of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... I like that shit. I like the... I like the little interludes. And, uh, yeah, they like interludes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Appreciate that. I remember Tiller was on that shit. Tiller got some hard ass in the loose. So I got two two songs, which was my favorite. Sun After the yeah. Rain and Vibe, you know. Okay. So for Vibe specifically, because I, <laughs> I, I like that transition from Sun After Rain to Vibe. Was that like some current shit? You was talking about somebody specific? No, that, that wasn't 
current. It was. I recorded Sun After Rain December 2019. So I had just graduated high school. And yeah, that, that's what I was about somebody. <laughs> Yeah, it's about somebody. It's usually how that shit go. I mean, you felt like you was in that motherfucker. Like you was in the studio. I know you was feeling that bitch, wasn't it? Yeah, you and, and, and it's crazy because when I when I, when I that the night that I, I recorded that, shout, shout out to Joe Jack. Um, the night that I recorded that, I was sick as hell. Really? You know what I'm saying? So my nigga Dallas was like, "You, you sure? You, you sure you want to record this? Like, yeah, yeah you sounded like this. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I gotta get this shit in, yeah, like." Yeah, he must have must meant some shit for real, uh, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Hey, bro, it get like that. Damn, what's your Zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Okay. Now, Libra, you know, Libra is the way of the... I don't believe in that Zodiac shit like that, but I do believe Libra's is, you know, top tier. Yeah, yeah that Zodiac shit real. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. That shit, that shit real for sure. <laughs> so when y'all niggas gonna hop on the track? Do y'all got a do y'all got a track on the album? I didn't, I, for, I didn't pick. When y'all gonna hop on the track? Cause I was hearing your shit too, be weird. I'm like, shit. <laughs> 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 way, but his way is weak. Man, you funny <laughs> as hell. Hey, um, hey, no cap. It's up to bro for real. He do whatever the fuck he want, bro. <laughs> Seriously, that nigga the star for real. He do whatever the fuck he want. He nah, I, can, I, can, like I can, I can have this nigga in there tomorrow. Hop on that bitch. Yeah. All right. Sound like y'all bullshit, then if that's the case. Yeah, lock in. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 But no, he, he was in New York for a little minute. Yeah, I'm hip. Yeah. He did just tell me that. Yeah, he did yeah, just tell so. me that shit. So, coming soon. Coming soon. Okay, okay. Should we okay. Uh, Do you write or do you just. Uh, I write, but I've been trying to get comfortable with freestyling. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I hear that's like the new thing, like to do nowadays. Just freestyle it and then write off of that. That's some you know talent. Yeah. I said to be able to freestyle. Like, How long yeah. like juice you say it take you to make a song? Mm, a to write, to write, or make it. Yeah, to write it or to make it. It's two different. It's All of the above. Yeah. yeah. How about both? How about, about both? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> That nigga said he got to yeah, clear mm, his throat for this yeah, shit. Yeah, he he said, mm. <coughs> <coughs> so, basically, now when I'm writing, I already have, like, certain songs that I, I've X'd out or certain bars that I've written for this particular song that I'll save because I know it was too much lyrics towards the end or just, just you know what I'm saying, like little shit like that. But um it'll it'll take anywhere from if I'm really fucking with it, it'll take no no less than like twelve hours. Mm-hmm. Okay. For one song? So do you pick the beat first and then the lyrics or so basically what I do is I pick the beat first and I'll listen to the beat over and over and over again That's on right. repeat. If I'm if I'm like really like trying to mm-hmm. get get this one out, then I I feel that that's that's just sweet man. I, I want to ask you about um because my favorite song on the album is Retaliation with Silence. Tough. I was I, I don't. What you mean by that? What you mean by Retaliation with Silence? Letting the music speak for itself. Mm. Okay, I fuck with that. And you saying like, and you saying like, the music that you putting out is retaliation or something, or you just saying like somebody like you feel me? You talking about to the, all the haters or yeah, something because like that? It, it was at the point in time of my, me writing this, it was like twenty nineteen to twenty twenty. So like, right when the pandemic had started, mm-hmm. everybody was just in the crib. You know what I'm saying? That's when. Uh, I really just. Hmm. Uh, you ask, I, I'm tripping. I'm thinking about the, the the album overall. You asked me about RWS. I'm tripping. Oh, you gotta say just me. Um, RWS. I when I first recorded that, that was no that that was the first song that I recorded with my uh, engineer. Mm. Shout, shout out to Zero. 
was like when I when I recorded that. That was my first song that I recorded out of high school. Like I, I didn't even get get my diploma yet. I still had a couple <laughs> of classes to finish, <laughs> but <laughs> it was whatever. Hey, you know what I'm so um. That, that song is basically a, a story about how I was feeling at the time. Like, mm. That's what I mean. Shit, that's what music be about. Yeah. Shit, that's yeah. the artistry in it. You're telling your story, your point of view, what's going on in your life, your head, yeah. everything. So I'm gonna say that's really how it's so supposed much to be. Pressure on you, right? So what 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 made you really start rapping? Like, what was it that 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 clicked that that motherfucking switch? You know, what I'm saying that clicked that switch. In your head. Was it just one of the things you just picked up type yeah, shit? It, it, it was one of the things that I just picked up, but something the, the one, I feel like the number one thing that ignited it was was a breakup for so. Mm-hmm. Damn. That be, <laughs> hey, that be it. You just gonna hit the gym or make music? Listen, <laughs> that be it. No, nah, nigga, you gonna grind in general, nigga. Whatever it is, your passion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you found your passion, nigga. You found what you love to do. It's so therapy. who inspired you, know, you to make music? Shit, so sure. besides Kendrick, who inspires you to make music? Lucky, lucky day, uh, or no, just lucky? lucky. Oh, okay. No, lucky, yeah, my nigga Tune, this nigga. Tyler the Creator, mm. that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Um, ASAP Rocky, oh yeah. I, I, actually, I, I, that's I listen, actually. I listen that's, to damn near everything, so it's just like I was about to say, yeah, that's music that's, that's in general. Yeah. Even yeah. outside of hip hop too, huh? You know what I'm saying outside, outside of hip hop, like alternative music, pop, you know, Cali Uchis. That she's fire. Yeah, she's fire. She's fire. She's fire. Uh, Snow Allegra. She's fire. My mama love her. Yeah. One of the hoes loved her. I ain't gonna lie. That's, the only, that's the only way I how it got put on. Is. I ain't gonna lie to you. After that, it was through. She she <laughs> tough. She looked like she looked like Sade. You know what I'm saying? Snow Allegra. Yeah. And the face kind of yeah, kind of like say, Sade. Yeah. She, it, it was a song that she had that she was, it, she it, was it literally good. resembled Michael. I, like I'm talking about like MJ, mm-hmm. bro. Mike gotta be one of the influencers. You gotta be one of the influencers. One of your, one of your, yeah, okay, for sure. No, that's a different handful. You got, you got one of the goats, as in Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. ASAP. Motherfuckers oh. be sleeping on ASAP. I, one of the mo- I feel like on one of the most slept on songs on 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 Tyler the Creator's Cherry Bomb. I, I have to get this over. Please it's, don't say it. I, know, I think I know what you're going to say, but go ahead. Smuckers. Smuckers? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Smuckers is a... Look, I ain't heard Them that. niggas was going... Look, yeah. Wheezy, yeah. Wheezy, yeah. Kanye, and Tyler Crater ate this shit. Make, Make my, my eye jump. Nigga. It's like that. Hold on. Let me, hold on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne was on that. He was on that. What's that it called? Nigga, that nigga said... Smuckers, <laughs> like the peanut butter. No, but look up. That nigga Tyler Crater. That's what Tyler Crater. Rich and white people with black kids. Scary to black people with ideas. Look at this, bro. That nigga Tyler was crazy back in the day. Though. That nigga said some yeah. shit. Them niggas oh, was going back and forth. I was still listening to him. I'm an original Tyler fan. No, no, no. I'm I'm I was fucking with Tyler. Old shit was kind of coonish. Before the, before yeah. the, you said what? You he said wouldn't what? do like coonish. I mean, the nigga. Like yeah, I mean, bro. Tina Perm your fucking weed. Bro, Tina Perm your fucking. Yeah. I was on all of that. I'm not gonna joke. I'm not gonna joke with you. That nigga said on Smuckers. That nigga, that nigga, nah, Tyler the Squad like was funny. Like, I'm about to say, come on, man. Lord, did, Lord, Lord was, the Squad was funny as shit. Lord the Squad was top tier. Yeah, but, but, but that is some coon shit. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Them niggas, oh, yeah. Them yeah, niggas are ridiculous. Awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, the funniest ridiculous. part was she when was them niggas was like, fuck them kids. You said what? That nigga said, fuck them kids. They were like, Tyler, stop cussing in front of the kids. He's like, fuck those kids. But no, like, if you. You got for me necklace. Certain shit on his album, though, was still like. It was like you had to, you you just had to listen, bro. Like, yeah. You feel me? Everybody then went through depression and felt like he would say the shit that you're not gonna say. Facts. Mm-hmm. And he made that He's shit like say saying some out of pocket shit acceptable before it was acceptable. And look though, and and how how much shit he said, man. This the the, the how much shit he said about homophobes. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, bro. Crazy. Just as, it's just almost like, vibe, bro. And yeah. then for him to come out like that. Even crazier. It's hey, like, bro, what it's, the fuck, dude? You can, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say, honestly. You know, it, and in a sense, 
He's talking about himself. So yeah. I feel he like he, 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 he reminds like, he was, like no, niggas my, ain't taking no offense to that shit. Is when he made that nigga fuck flex so uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, yeah. bro! I saw yeah, that bro. shit. It's so funny. Hard. I just saw that shit on Twitter. This again, nigga said yeah. original Tyler fans understood, bro. But most people who was just now getting hip to him when he started making like kind of secular music, you know like that's when they was like, "What is Buddy on?" But it's like if you originally <laughs> listen to Tyler, bro, it's like, bro, he been doing that doing that shit. Well, you gotta. Man, golf. Yeah, yeah nigga, getting his recognition and all. Like he wasn't a golf fan. I mean, so I fucked with him and kind of, sorta, of, but it was like a. I think cool. Oh, listen, no, bro, you know, like, he used thing, to right? say so much yeah, wild so. shit. I didn't fuck with it either. But when I got older and I started listening to, the, I really started fucking with Tyler when he dropped Cherry Bomb. When he dropped Cherry Bomb, I really started listening to him because I was like, he dro- he put "Find Your Wings" on that bitch, and I'm like, I love this nigga, dog. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah sir. it's like and that, and and, yes, and the fact that he dropped the the instrumental. That's what really got me into like. Listening to, to uh, alternative music, alternative more, music, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Because the more the more sounds that you that you have in your in your in your horizon, mm-hmm. it's like repertoire. Yeah, in, in your, your repertoire. repertoire. That was yeah, a good ass word. Yeah, the more the more shit you have in your repertoire, it's ass. like. Stupid. The more you can pull from, you got a bigger bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And Tyler got that shit. You know what I'm saying. He, he him making his own beats and everything like that. And not to mention, he is low key a goat for putting so many people in position. Yeah. Earl Sweatshirt is one of my favorite. Nah, that's fine. Earl, he he be, and it he would be not in my head. Earl immediately. See, like Earl Sweatshirt, Earl Sweatshirt, he be with he be with the Alchemist now. He be Facts. with the Alchemist and Facts. Benny the Butcher and all them niggas. Facts. He on some real yeah. conscious hip hop yeah. shit. Like but he's a rapper, bro. He is yeah. one of the he's not he's not fucking with the industry you know what i'm saying but the thing about i used to study i used to study like my um to my to my exams too or study for my exams too is um like lo-fi beats Mm. you know what i'm saying like real common 432 hertz shit like in a a different frequency so do you believe in like how frequency like Uh, plays with the mind and all that stuff like what x was talking about sure yeah yeah kanye said the same shit yeah. Talking about how the 808 is in the lowest part of our chakras and shit like that. That shit is truthful, bro. If you listen to older music back when we were not not yeah. existing as fuck, like mm-hmm. all of that shit was at mm-hmm. a certain frequency, but compared to you know music now, it's very very like high end frequency, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it make you want to be like. I'm I'm so fucking. It's not necessarily so, a good thing, listen, though. That's the crazy not, part. I'm I'm so fucking thing. glad I got music junkies around me, yeah, <laughs> like me now, bro. Like it, it, it's it's just it, I'm just happy to see motherfuckers actually expanded. They got them. They, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, they repertoire. Yeah, repertoire. Taste artists. the music. I feel what you're saying, bro. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. I'm personally me. Hip hop. Hip hop is really no, not even my yeah. favorite genre of music. Even though I listen to it the most, it's not really my favorite genre of music. You say hip hop? Yeah. No. What what is? Um, R&B and soul, man. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I think yeah, personally, yeah. personally, me, I think the best, almost pure music comes from that. You know what I'm saying? Even back in the day, they was making beautiful music. It's like right, Doug, right. like you know what I'm saying? They they actually make make music that everybody can relate to. You know what I'm saying? They called it life music. Like Earth, Wind, and Fire was life music. You yeah, feel me? Real talk. Yeah. And, and that's like, talk about that shit all the time. They don't too. have 808s in they in their songs though. <laughs> they all It's all a band Nigga You know what say, I'm saying it's Back then no, though <laughs> They didn't really feeling, bro. Like, They didn't really a give a, a shit About yeah. motherfuckers opinions You know what I'm talking about Yeah It's too many It's really? too many labels And too many You know too many, too much shit That motherfuckers be talking about Nowadays To, to fuck up niggas heads So they yeah. can't really just go out there Like how niggas got in that bitch Talking about Talking about oh, Baby don't let me go Like what the fuck You don't hear no niggas Saying that shit on the goddamn In the stew no more Yeah you don't see You, know you don't saying? hear motherfuckers Talking about no, you, don't, you don't hear You don't hear motherfuckers Say like I love you you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, what I mean? like J Cole said, his J Cole said it best. He's like, nobody now. talks about love no more in their music. I mean, that shit, yeah, it's, it's frowned yeah, upon. I'm trying to hear that shit. Like, exactly. Not even he just said like. I'm not trying to hear that shit. No, I, I ain't I'm trying not to saying me specifically. I'm saying like, but but it's just like as a, like society damn near they don't want like you know men showing like well black men kind of in the rap industry showing emotion like that like love and shit. That's not. Yeah, but not exactly. But look though, but look though, but look though. Why was the peak of music? In the 2000s when they did that shit, though. Well, the 2000s was just a whole different vibe. But, saying, but look, though, yeah, the hip-hop artists, the hip-hop artists, Jagged Edge was some gangster-ass niggas and that, that was, made the yeah. softest yeah. R&B yeah. shit. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, Jay-Z yeah. has soft shit in his yeah, shit. Song Cry? Yeah. Jay-Z has soft shit in his music. Yeah. Okay. That's why I fuck so with so vibes so much. Because, like, what I'm not saying it's was, soft, bro, but that shit was just raw. It changed what you said was right. What you said is right. Exactly with 50 Cent. 50 Cent changed, though. When did it become... So him specifically... 50 Cent, no. I, bro, I feel like 50 Cent, when, when, he, nigga, when he got up no, on that hard I, wave, 
He changed the whole yes. She got too hard Like But then you got niggas like Rod, Did you say Rod Wave? It was no, not, I said 50 Cent changed the way No it was not 50 niggas, Cent bro niggas, <laughs> I tell you who changed it bro During his era It was, was Soldier Boy my nigga It was Soldier Boy and Chief Keith They changed the way Chief Keith was on that shit 50 Cent was not it bro He actually clowned Ja Rule For being a tender nigga Then turned around And did some tender shit The next album So we can't say it was 50 he literally got the candy shopping it up, bro. Ja Rule, ja Rule dude. Was, ja, ja, ja Rule really is. Y'all, y'all, y'all niggas see, never heard 21 but questions, yeah, bro? 50, 50 Cent, 50 cent on, came bro. out and was Let's like, her best just for the bitches, nigga. Like, yeah. he, bro, he, he made it evident, like, bro, if you a nigga, don't listen That's to how hip-hop yeah. always for the bitches, was. Nigga. That's how hip hop always was. Yeah, Jay-Z, I think it's still like Jay-Z, it. look, look, Jay-Z is the most braggadocious rapper of all time. He brought Blexin to a whole different level. Them niggas back in the 90s were talking about killing shit, all that shit, too. It's just that the industry... The industry had a respect for good music. You know what I'm saying? And good artists that pushed out, you know, good music. Like if you want your shit. Remember to back sing, in the bro. day? Back in the day, they used to play gospel on the radio, nigga. And then Kirk Franklin was booming, nigga. Facts. You could play, you could play uh smooth. You could, jazz. Bro. So niggas, niggas so pretty much. Yeah, so pretty much, pretty much niggas, niggas, niggas got more ignorant. So the industry had to get more ignorant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fan base is when you, what you were saying was right. Yeah. The fan base changed. It's like what we we didn't appreciate that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? So now niggas just making money in the industry. They ain't putting no passion into their music. But y'all shit. don't think that's a part of an agenda funny. too? I don't know. It is a part of an agenda. Sure. It is. No, it is. It's and always, you want to know why? It's all an agenda. And you want to know why? It's supposed to be into your you, woman and it's like uh-huh. they pushing homosexuality as well at the same time. So if they make it seem like it ain't cool to love your woman. That's bro. why. That's why. You feel me? Kanye and them niggas be talking about the 808s. That's weird. He was like, "Look, you put you see, say if you listen to the them bass boomings and you hear uh, artists be saying some type of shit, it's gonna fuck, it's ain't gonna fuck you lie, up, bro. I'm never saying anything about a dick referring to my gun. <laughs> 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 no, no, niggas do yeah, be yeah, you won't you won't never catch no 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 tune bar. I remember when I first heard that shit. That, nah, that, I was, that ain't so you ain't gonna say you got this." Like I ain't gonna lie, that shit was tough. <laughs> First time hey, I no, heard that no, shit was no, tough. No, no, no cap though. No cap though. Please. Tyler the Creator said a bar like that, no, and it was he, cold. He on, has on a bar. Exactly. Like, like, no, 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 fake it. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler was no that nigga said, shit like that. He said this. He said this the revenge of the dicks. There's nine cocks that cock nines. That's a bar though. I ain't gonna lie. Nine cocks. He yeah, said nine Cox. Cox at Cock Nine. Yeah, no, I get that, but like Cox, nigga. I damn. mean, he like Cock, don't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. I know why. But I it's still why. weird. I'm with that's you. Weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit wasn't tough the first time y'all heard it though. No, I mean, bro. Like, that, that's I, not. You gotta hear more context. Yeah. I'm not doubting. Because when I heard it, when I heard it, yeah. When I heard that shit, I wasn't like, I wasn't like it wasn't gay, and I didn't say like, that's gay. I mean, I think the context of the bar. It was a tough that shit was bar. that shit was tough. That shit was tough. We think it's from a rapper perspective, but we no. also gotta know what you letting into your spirit. He said it's the revenge of the dicks. Yeah. All right, not- bro, you don't gotta say this. You don't gotta. Okay. You don't gotta keep repeating yeah. the bar over. <laughs> he heard you the first <laughs> three times, nigga. <laughs> if I hear cock oh, one more fucking this. time, we got no, beef. No, no <laughs> if you say cock again, it's a problem. <laughs> cock, nigga, shut All up. Right. Oh my, uh, <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga just tested your gangster. I think you got to talk to bro. Uh, I think you need to talk to bro right now. Go ahead, Instagram guy. Turn this bitch off. Go ahead, Instagram. Based off of the simple fact that I'm talking about shoes that like ain't never been seen before. What you mean? Nowhere. Yeah, but you said what? Like I said, vibe is a flex because I was talking about some shoes in in that motherfucker. That ain't nobody ever seen before. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what shoes look like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what shoes look like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what shoes look like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what shoes look like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what shoes look like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know what <laughs> they sound like the next designer. They sound like the next designer fad, nigga. Shit. So, but no, nah, make sure y'all on the on the lookout for for bag baby apparel and uh, something for degenerates as well. You know what I'm Hell yeah. These yeah, these bitches see? they 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 not okay, bad. Okay, okay. They okay. look like uh, skating shoes. <laughs> No, skating shoes. I, I do, I do skateboard, but that, that, that's Vans, not. Vans is, is is a skating shoe. Yeah, man, so so let's get back to let's get back to your music, man. So you uh you got you mm-hmm. already got you already working on your next project and stuff, huh? Uh, yeah. So, or shit, I, you I might say, already I got it. Half of it is recorded already, and then the the name of the the name of it is already like planned out. Like, but um, are you gonna drop a deluxe? Cause that seems to be the fad going on right now. Uh, on to the next. He said, "On to the next, nigga." And where did your name two four eight tune come from? So, two 
Where area code? The area code for <laughs> this nigga <is> <laughs> like what? Or like the uh the like Pontiac, Rochester, or Auburn Hills. <laughs> Area. Ah damn! You can't ask one simple question. No, that was some niggas dumb. hopping on your ass. I mean, bro, you In from? Sense, I feel him though. You from? Super is more than just Pontiac. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, a question. Yeah. That's my Eric Cole too. Yeah. And he all a two for one. That is facts. Yeah. It's, it's Oakland, 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 Oakland County. Yeah, it's Oakland, Oakland County. County. And where did it was <laughs> But you know. And where did Tune come from? Tune came from. That's damn. Oh, okay. So Stupid. back in middle school, or like. You a cock. My, my last year of middle school and going into my freshman year. I, uh, Shut it. <laughs> you did just say cock. What the fuck? My bad, bro. My bad. We, <laughs> we, we tripping, dog. Niggas, niggas, niggas be bullshit. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Continue talking. But, uh, so it was like my, my freshman year. I had a high top. And all my niggas there, it'll compare me to cartoons like Hey Arnold. And so you had, the, you had the juice bitch. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Straight the fuck up. Oh my God. Yeah. That's, hey, you know what? First of all, I'm, I'm fucking with you for that reference, though. I like how you turned that shit into some other shit. You feel, what I'm you feel me? Nah, but that shit, I ain't. No, nah, ain't no way in hell you had to. Chase, one day, we, we walk into the Boys and Girls Club, me, him, and my nigga Dez. Go Wait, hold on, bro. Wait, before before, before you start, which boys and girls clubs you go to? Auburn Hills. Okay, I was about to say because that might be where I know your ass from. But go ahead. <laughs> okay, this nigga. So, uh, boys and he, girls club. He, he oh, like, okay, for sure. You, uh, my, my nigga CJ was like, "You an animated ass nigga, boy. Your, your, your name Toon. You are very animated. Yeah, you you do got different. I didn't see you with some with some expressions, nigga. For real, <laughs> especially when you was at that event. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was that damn coat, nigga. Shit, I said that. Oh, that be tough. That shit tough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good though. You gotta have motherfuckers around like that. I still can't believe you had that motherfucking. You had so 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 with the Hey Arnold reference. It was it the black nigga that, that they was trying to compare you to. The only black nigga. The only nigga. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the fact. <laughs> only a black when you first nigga said it. All right, two four eight. You need to shut your dumb ass up. Did you know where Tune came from? Like I was Big saying Biter. was. And that's why we're in reference about exactly. it. But you're an idiot for saying, no, oh, one super Is that word. not his whole name? Are you stupid? Bitches. Right. Let him have it. Let him have it. Let me not instigate. Look at this. Relax. You good, Chase. Don't change it. 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 Don't or is that in nah, the No, 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 no. Don't even tell us. Wait till the next album. Yeah, yeah. don't even tell us. Mm. I know you're going you to include that shit somewhere. 762 Tune. Nah. It's not an area code, though. Got so what the fuck is 762 for, then? 762. Oh. No, no, no. 762 bullets? Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, I mean, no. He was saying like he didn't know it, so I was. I guess it. No, it was spitballing. Seven six twos, nigga. I mean, you know. hell. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> Man. I lost some hoe ass niggas. Fuck y'all, y'all niggas cool. But <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> the fuck. I will let y'all know in on um, uh, on a, a release date, or not not a release date, but be to be like a time to be on the lookout for this show. Sure. Okay. You know, um, I'm, you know, I'm gonna promote that shit. You know. No, that's your Playboy game. Day Club. What, that's the name of the album? Say it again. Playboy Day Club. Playboy Day Club. Where'd you come up with that? All right, hey, look. I, look, and I thought about asking it. But it's like. It's a Playboy's Day Club. So that's the album name? Okay. This nigga too cool, bro. Playboy's Day Club. Shit, we know that shit gonna be about there. This nigga too cool, bro. <laughs> Right, too cool, bro. Nigga, too cool. Too cool. Nigga, glide, bro. Bro, he walk, he glide. Bro. God Sliding damn. and gliding, styling and profile. So t- tell us more about your music, Pee Wee. Yeah. Talk your shit. And why Pee Wee shit? I want to hear that. What's, what's, what's up? What's up? Go right. to the mic, be doing. Shit, when you sit up, shit, I'm just lazy. <laughs> um, shit. So, um, the Pee Wee shit. I had an uncle. That nigga was like. One of them niggas always like, I'm about to come get you, all that shit. He passed away. So I just inherited the name. Mm. Now, obviously, he was older. Oh, yeah, my bad. 
But obviously he's older than me, so I'm, I was born in '96. So I just threw that shit on. Okay. Her. Name changed. I might drop that shit. I ain't gonna lie to '96 part and just keep Pee-wee. I don't know yet, but I got too. like hella aliases. But <laughs> um, yeah, and then um, shit, I got some shit out called a little vagina tape. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got bro, you got a you got a little you vagina tape. You got a word that's about that, bro. Go into the name, but, bro. but why? Okay. So. <laughs> see, see, look, you see little vagina tape. Little vagina tape. Did you yeah, like? Man. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Niggas like niggas like telling pussy. Fuck it. Hey, it's your heart. Speak your heart. Little vagina. It's the name. A tape. It's a tape. Tape. I was thinking we was rapping, and this literally had happened. Like my cousin. Shout out to my cousin Mike. My cousin Micah Smith, he's a goddamn genius. I don't <laughs> care what nobody say. Um, he called me one day, took me to the stool. We did a song, and I just ended the song like little vagina, and that shit stuck. Like we was laughing for like <laughs> an hour. You fed me off that shit. We was laughing, crying, laughing, like highest shit, just like little vagina. And then it's like that shit just kept. I'm like, bro, fuck it. I'm about to just drop a tape called little vagina tape. And that Duh. was four years ago. Oh that was my four goodness! Years ago. So it was like I, I gotta hear that song. shit. It's bro, on that shit low key. Yeah, it's everywhere, bro. That shit everywhere. It's low key gonna fuck your head up. And it's funny because I got a poem for the women at the end called Vagina Poetry, but it's an old. Get to, the fuck it's an old to women though. No joke. Okay, okay, no okay. I respect shit. that. It's, it's I like, like that. The whole concept fuck people head up. You like talking about it. the vagina? Is she? 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 Is you tear up when tore up, that's crazy, who doesn't? You tempted to take it, you try because you love it. But I'm talking about pussy the whole time. Uh, that's on, that's on some D's world shit. You feel me? <laughs> but it's funny because a lot of people probably not going to make it to the end, though. You know, it's only like six, seven tracks on that bitch. But it's like, you know, niggas lazy. So it's like, that <laughs> lazy. <laughs> but yeah, that bitch is on there. It's like kind of conceptual. It's a, man, it's some shit on there, man, called Savior. What, what the fuck did you just say earlier? I just want to be. Cool who don't? Man. You feel me? Who mm. don't? You know what I'm saying? You might want one, two. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get along. It don't usually Everybody work like along. that. We all with, you know, uh-huh. niggas can dream. Hey. Yeah, you said niggas can dream. Niggas can dream, exactly. Like share. Real talk. It is. You said what? What'd you say? They, they don't like to share. Fuck oh, no. okay, okay. Look at her. Oh, my God. Some of them do. I'm so you got active. I'm a Scorpio. See, look, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> she, said, she said, fuck no. Oh my God. No, that's, that's just, I feel like that's yeah, disrespectful. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you're. Shout out Rory. If we fucking. That's, what, that's my man. And we together, Scorpio. like, and we've established that, then why do you need another bitch? You make me feel like I'm not enough then. Stop being greedy. See, that's how I feel. But it's, it's a specific not, type I mean, of woman you go for, though. Like, I'm not going to knock you for that. And obviously, if you're not into that, I'm not going to take you out your comfort zone. We good. But just so happens if I. We in the era where a lot of girls like girls. Yeah. And that's just what it is. I don't know. Like girls, we're real talk. talk. Fuck like you around the time about? I was in middle school, I don't know if y'all was um around the term by curious ever, but it was a lot of girls yeah. was like I'm yes. by curious. Yeah. Every girl so, was by. Yeah. You feel me? No I feel so, like a lot of them did that shit for attention that by, too. Yeah. I mean, it might have been, probably. it might have been, but like yeah. girls could easily, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could just play with y'all sexuality like it's yeah. nothing. Yeah. So it's like some girls was into that shit and some girls wasn't. But it's like if I bump into a girl who actually like girls just as much as I do, let's go get another one. <laughs> to say that you was bi curious is just some like Goofy what the fuck. I'm seeing a trend on Twitter where a bunch of girls like being asked to be a part of threesomes. That's just yeah. fucking That's weird perfect. to me. You go on pop because because no. they take it as they're attractive. That's why. You go on eighty percent of girls like pages, they got bi in their yeah. bio. We're a generation of feminists. Like, you know? Equality. Like, a eat flat. a pussy, I'll eat a pussy. All of that, though. Eat like, seriously, though. Like, it all playing that masculinity shit and all of that. All of yeah. that, I'm telling you. Because women really be sitting there feeling like, I don't need no nigga. It's like, I, 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 can and I, I understand that. Like, I feel like you shouldn't need somebody. But if you want somebody, like, you want somebody there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, listen, your dad. I, I ain't mad at no woman who feel like she's enough. Because you are. Period. But, but if you like to party, how at me? At time, I mean. You don't want them to Say that again in the mic. Say that again. You don't want them to become an asset nor a liability. What you mean by that? Like, you just want somebody that, that'll be in the crosshairs but on some neutral shit. 
And I feel mm. like you would like one female more than the other. I feel like there would always be like that weird. I don't line. know. I don't I know. With that one. I don't know I because because for y'all to even agree to be to be two equal one, you know, y'all what I'm talking about some good communication. I gotta, yeah, skills. I gotta, I got What it is? What it is? What, I, what it is? Exactly. I read this. Hey, no faking. And I read this in the no book faking. too. What I, and I read this in the book too. What it is is that some men just like women for different things. Some women for different things. One woman is great in this, and that's what I'm gonna go to her for. And another woman is great in this, and that's what I'm gonna go to her for. My thing is like, same. But when do you like grow up and move on from that? He can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Women are big on that. Piggyback off of that, uh, Cobb Aang, the, the the voice memo that comes before Sun After Rain. Mm-hmm. That was about my ex girlfriend. It was her. It, it's her name backwards. Oh okay. Damn, yeah. that's unique. So, I mean, that that just explained it all right there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck these bitches. But yeah, yeah, that's you, some, that, you, that's you what it is. That though, sure. it's not even fuck them though. I ain't even go sure. cap. Or it's some. Not even or, that yeah. Niggas gotta be. Occasionally it you is. You look so confused. No, and like some, some women, some men, like some men like a woman that's gonna be soft, right? And then they are like, okay, that um, wasn't. I'm, I'm, I, t- I'm tired of I'm tired of her being soft. Now I want a woman that's kind of like tough or whatever. Who want a hard body bitch? Not <laughs> hard. Body, not, not that. No, I'm talking yeah. about. I'm not that. I'm talking about mentally, nigga. Like. Oh. What I was gonna say is like, they when does that like? When does that end? Like, when do you as an adult say, you know what? This is kind of. I feel like that's childish too. Like. I feel like if you want to have a relationship, man, woman, whatever the fuck you want to do, so you going to marry this bitch and that bitch, have kids with her and her, y'all going to be in a fucking polygamous household? Like, how the fuck? That's nah, always happened. Look, you got to understand, we in America. That's just <laughs> fucking... That seems like, very mature. No, it doesn't. Like you, it's so, you said it fun. yourself. Look, you have look, to have people, great communication no, skills, right? Look, not a lot of people. You, you have to be remember. an adult to be able to communicate, And though. these people, a lot of these people aren't adults. You look, so look, look. Polygamous relationship, bro, you can talk. If you got money, she got to like women just as much as he do. So it's not like he prompted her to, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was like, no, I'm not saying it's not like decision. that. I'm just saying, like, does it just keep going forever? Yeah. Yes. I mean, until it's, death do us part. If, if, if a nigga got money, saying, though, I see what you're saying, though, because your kids is being raised in that right, household just, and shit. Like, and do they why? carry that on? But you got to remember, we all human shit. We wasn't raised in no polygamous shit. But we might want that shit. Our kids might want something else. People who raised in polygamous shit don't look at it as wrong. Yeah. Some, a lot of them leave because there's I'm, weird shit that goes I'm on in those little communities and cults. Very true, because true polygamy, now that's one thing people got to understand. Want. That's a lot true of brainwashing polygamy, shit. technically are supposed to do that with your kids. Like, it's weird as fuck. You breed you within each other. Exactly. So if you actually, like, yeah, you can have a polygamist relationship... Huh? Or you could be yep. in the midst it's of polygamy. Yeah. Yeah. That's True like polygamy that's, that's back in, that's back in, in, in the biblical days. That's some incest shit. Don't let this be known now, nah, baby. Listen, I look, 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 you, you looking at me? I don't I don't like to share either. It. Okay? It's, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't like to share, though. Shit, what the fuck? I mean, don't nobody like to share, but in all reality, like I was saying. <laughs> I really just think that's how it is in America. Fuck it, I'm selfish. Cause in the she Middle already, East, in the Middle East, that shit kind of normal. Exactly. See, like, but look, it, with that, your girl can say, "Oh, I'm not with that. I don't want to do that. This and that." And then guess what? You get that promotion, you or your business start booming. You get enough money, Real talk. And you can you can get yeah, you, you she'll be jump ship. You still wouldn't do that shit no. even. So she might she might no. leave. I'm leaving. She, another most most women that chance they <laughs> hey, You gotta go leave. Shay. Another one goes like, stay. You gotta understand, I'm, I'm, Shay. And that's perfectly fine. No, Shay, you have to understand yeah, your nature. I think it come with multi. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's he a multi millionaire. You live in the Calabasas it's now. Submissive. He's like, he's like, he like, if I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Your nature is submissiveness. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> That's not funny. You right as hell. It, it, it does matter if you if you if have I'm happy. Just because yeah, a nigga no, have money, right. money, yeah, money can sometimes buy <laughs> happiness. But just because a nigga's rich I and I have everything I want, happiness. I'm not I'm not staying in a situation where I, one I'm not comfortable or happy. Mac Miller was rich as hell. And unhappy. But unhappy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Juice World. Robin Juice, Juice World. Yeah, they say World rich as fuck. They say celebrities. I mean, most say most of the celebrities though is really like that though. I ain't gonna lie. Underlying the problems is not gonna change because you got cheese. So it's not get yourself yeah. right before you exactly. Man, what? Do something. If you so was depressed before you had paid, exactly. no, it's, it's not even. After. So it's not even that though. At the same time, it's like them niggas. They, okay, they don't have money, right? I mean, it's, it's more than that though. So they don't. I got, get what he's saying. They though. they have money. Then they Last get matters. money. So now when you got the money, everything you got, your happiness meter is at a ten. You getting this bands bands of ten. Everything you get in the ten. You so once you get anything like, more, so now you're getting a Hellcat. A Hellcat, that's not that's not at the same level. Most niggas would be happy as hell to have a Hellcat. Not you, cause yo, 
your ceiling is set higher. You're never satisfied. So you, never you satisfied. can't satisfy yourself. Yeah, so then that's when, the, that's when the shit settles in. Why you're not happy. That's why technically being rich is not necessarily like the most, like everybody look at it as the most important thing ever. It's like, it's really not because at the end of the day, like we saying, you can still be unhappy as hell with a lot nice. of money. That shit, yeah. just, that shit just keep us afloat. And, and the reason why a lot of people with a lot of money don't be happy is because they're, they never allow themselves to be satisfied. They're like, I want to keep making more and more and more. And, and then, then they say, more money, more problems. Bro, you can't really get And then they can. Some G-ass shit, though. Nobody in this room is not depressed in some format or anybody listening. I guarantee it, bro. Because yeah, we that's... all were sitting there raised in a certain state. Like, nobody, everybody want to live above their means, bro. Yeah, yeah that's true. And we yeah. was all raised like that, simple. Mm-hmm. And even if you We're in America. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No, no, and then in comparison with other people, you know, Social media really fucks you. Right. That's what I was about to say, bro. It's Max, really, it's really social media. This shit is all really, you got to really be in tune with yourself, You bro. see somebody with some shit, you Keep like, like-minded damn. like-minded people around you. Facts. Yeah. All of that shit. Nigga, you need God. Nigga, that's <laughs> what you want. <laughs> that's basically what we saying, dog. Okay. I mean, shit, you feel me? You is one, for real. Like, shit. everything, Call bro. Right. Be right within yourself, bro, and you're going to be straight. Fuck yeah. that cheese, because if you ain't got it, just stay the same as when you get it. You feel me? Don't start yeah. getting a bunch of... Nigga, the only thing is what I tell people, bro, saving ain't even the key, bro. Just make more bread, bro, if that's the case. Like, nigga, if you depriving or yourself your of shit. something real shit, but see, saving, you know, that's depriving saving. yourself. Oh, yeah. Saving depriving will never yourself. make you rich. You're going to be sad as shit all six months while you saving to get this one <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> thing, and you still going to be sad as fuck, nigga, because now you're going to want something else. You want something exactly. else. Yeah. So, nigga, the key is like, Fuck it. Let me make more bread and just get more in abundance of what the fuck I want. And, and that way it'll just last me longer. I ain't got to sit here. Now, don't over fucking Spend, maybe get yeah. into overindulge in the shit because you got more of it. Just, nigga, keep doing what you doing. Multiple money flows. Maintaining this exactly. shit. Exactly. Staying ready so you ain't got to get ready. Yeah. Absolutely. Really all it is. Be right within yourself, bro. Take the fuck off. You feel me? You gonna know your spirit, your body, everything. It's your mind gonna tell you like, oh yeah, it's time to transcend. You gonna wake up and feel different. Mm-hmm. I said, this one thing I do now, nigga, with this group. Whenever we get cheese, whenever we start making the bread we want to make, this, ain't nobody gonna change in this motherfucking room. No, straight the fuck shit. up. All right, you know your head. Bitch, you ain't changing <laughs> shit. Try me if you want to. season. Try me if you want to. Give me a motherfucking reason. I'll shoot your motherfucking foot. No faking. I'm deleting <laughs> niggas. No. <laughs> Man. Hey, no, look. Look. That's some solo right. shit. Don't this nigga will not be in the next you. episode on God. Some I'll still come around. You got to get rid of, though. I ain't no cap. Everybody can't go. And I ain't saying no this room. This no, your no, team. No, no, no. That's no, true. You you gotta, everybody gotta, outside this room. Everybody can't go. Oh, like Nobody is above that. Bro. Nobody's above that. They like, mm-hmm. Nobody's above <laughs> that. What you mean, somebody, nigga? Everybody. Nobody's Nobody's above that. Nobody's above the group. Nobody's above that um, trial is what I'm saying. Nobody come, come to see you. Everybody is expendable. Say, you cross the line. Come to see the you got to go. <laughs> if we ain't, if, if like, we ain't can, I saw this room. If we ain't can, we don't got no. Come on now, we don't got no common ancestry. No common ancestry. <laughs> no common ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> and I count common ancestry as nigga, as far as my grandparents. So if you, you know, great great grandma, or something Wait. nah, ain't happening. Wait, my goddamn head burning, nigga. Stick. I got also, this peppermint oil on my scalp. You need your credit repaired. Man, the that. bag, baby. Apparel.com. <laughs> All of the information that you need for your credit repair and, and your credit. This nigga talking about credit repair. <laughs> this nigga's talking about credit repair. Hey, how at him know that shit important? <laughs> oh, no, it is. Uh, Hello, man. I'm talking about <laughs> sweaty as shit. Like my head really burned. Like man. what the fuck? Like what the fuck, bro? I got this. No, like dead ass. This shit burn. Let's wrap that this shit the fuck steam, up, man. Like, before, we go, before we go, before we go, before we go, give y'all, you know, shout y'all selves out and shit, man. Y'all social medias and shit, bro. Follow me on Instagram at two four eight tune. Add me on Snapchat at tune Tyrese. Uh, Twitter two four eight tune, aka Long Live Tune. I'm saying. Uh, appreciate the opportunity. Oh yeah, we appreciate what's your, you what's your, on, what's your music on? What all what all streaming yeah, services? Y'all can, y'all can find me on Apple Music, Spotify, Title, Absolutely. Amazon. Yeah. Talk pretty much everything. Talk your shit. <laughs> all right, Pee Wee. Talk your shit, bro. Um, shit, man. Pee Wee ninety six, man. Cozy man. Mm-hmm. Rob Marley. Imagine Miss Prime. Uncle Time. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> Little Little vagina. Vagina. <laughs> You feel me? Um <laughs> Follow me on Insta at P.W.E.E.P. Dot. Make sure you put that dot. P.W.E.E. 96. Don't follow me on Snapchat. Um, <laughs> I'm born as fuck on all that shit. I'm born as fuck. Um, you can add me on Facebook. 
And my real name. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? All that. I'm niggas born use Facebook. Fuck. Niggas do that. Man, dog. Well, y'all heard it, man. Make sure y'all all go stream Black Aladdin. It's on all platforms, all man. Platforms. And we thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Sleep Wanted Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. You feel me? And follow us on socials, too, man. Y'all know it. We out this yeah, motherfucker. This motherfucker. Peace. Yeah. Oh, that shit was